Hey there, Sagittarius. Hope your guys' week has been good to you guys so far. Appreciate you. Let's find out what the cards are saying, what's coming out for your highest good. These are going to be from a beautiful sign of Sagittarius. This is for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Sagittarius. What are you talking about? Investigation. Two more. Silent treatment. You're, you're bossing up here. There's some money that's been paid out on your head. Yep, you got a target on your back here. There's an investigation going on at this time. Somebody wanted to put you under an investigation and it turned around in your favor. Somebody's stuck and powerless here because they can't stop you. Overall energy for Sagittarius. Somebody's hoping that you're going to see their side of something here. This is somebody that was like staying quiet from you, hoping that they could like keep control over something over you but now somebody wants to try to come back and get your sympathy here because something's going in your favor now you've been through some adversity you've been challenged my gosh you've been through some things here but this was the best way that you needed to learn here somebody doesn't like this the challenge that they presented for you is now what they're being dealt with and they can't handle this Sagittarius Sagittarius you already know in your heart what to do. I'm telling you, there's something here about this investigator clearly understanding what they need to do here. Somebody feels like they need to apologize to like make something right here. You already know what you need to do when it comes to something as well. You're in this peaceful, quiet era in your life, we'll call it. You're chilling. You're just loving life. You're just, you're happy. And while you are in this happiness, blessed, attracting things that are towards you that's rightfully yours. There's been a, like a target on your head here. Sagittarius. As I purify my space, it gives me a clean slate so I can fill with things for higher vibration. And this is what you're doing. You've been through some pretty dark cycles in your life, we'll call it. All this adversity. This was all meant to challenge you, but to make you stand in this powerful energy that is clearly like meant to be you. Staying calm, balanced, no matter what's going on around you. People were like trying to achieve something by getting you to react a certain way and you're just not reacting. You're very calm, you're very balanced. Everybody is clearly seeing that you're not giving in to what they wanted you to give in to. Sagittarius, you've shifted your perspective. This is what you've been doing. All this, these challenges, this adversity, when we start healing... And we go through an awakening and we start doing our shadow work. We start looking at things differently. And this is what's going on. You've got somebody trying to shift your perspective after they had some kind of part in this hit out on you. Somebody wants you to look at them differently. The world is blessed to have you. You are here to help make great change for this whole planet. You are here to help raise the vibration by you helping, by doing your part to raise your vibration you are lifting the planet, but this is also about you being an inspiration to others to want to become their best versions of themselves as well. You're a beautiful light being blessed with the world. Blessed for, let me say that again. You're a beautiful light being that the world is blessed to have you. Sagittarius. The things that almost broke me were the things that most awoke you. Very resilient. Appreciating self. Thankful for these these hard lessons that you have, you've gone through. If you haven't got there yet, you'll get there. I promise. And this is like things that were meant to break you down is what woke you up. I am in divine flow and I move in alignment, balanced shadow, light side, manifestations right where they need to be, speaking differently, thinking differently, moving differently. This is what our shadow work and our healing does, and our awakening does for us. Now you are in alignment with everything that's rightfully yours. And, oh, is everybody panicking because of this? All right, tell me about this investigation. Somebody was called to take action against you. Somebody was trying to plant some kind of evidence on you and then get somebody to investigate you to, to make something stick. It didn't stick. This investigator got to looking into the whole situation and realizing that the people that hired the investigator was... Trying to take you out type energy. They're very much aware of this. There's something here about some kind of information that somebody's been trying to hold back from somebody here. And something is coming out now. This investigator knows that you've been like 
you are the one that has been abused and neglected in this situation. This is coming out. The deception, the, the plotting, the all of it is being exposed. Something's being left out in the cold now. Somebody is very much aware what has been going on with this whole situation. This investigator feels like a fool for taking this on. Because he's shifting his perspective. He's seeing the bigger picture. He or she, they're seeing the bigger picture for what it is. This investigator wishes that they would have never invested into this now. This investigator is like... Like... Detaching from it. They wish they wouldn't have like signed up for this. Because they're starting to see the truth. A lot of selfish energies. This investigator might have been... Um, Paid something very well to come after you, to plant something on you. But I'm telling you, this investigator is very much aware of what's really going on. And it's making them nervous. Something is coming in your, your favor now. Something is on its way to you after this investigator has seen the truth about something here. Tell me about the silent treatment. Somebody was trying to silence, like, silence you by giving you the silent treatment. Or hoping that their silent treatment was going to like make you try to... like look a certain way, like chase them, like look like a stalker type energy. Tell me about this. Yeah, look, somebody was purposely doing something underhanded here. Trying to strategize and trying to make you look a certain way by giving you the silent treatment. It blew up in their face. Somebody is obsessively thinking about the outcome now. Somebody was trying to make you look like this evil, dark, twisted person. That's why they were staying silent. It's not working. <laughs> five of pentacles you they somebody thought that their presence was going to like break you down by not being there anymore somebody thought by leaving you out in the cold that that was going to make you look a certain way but it's not you're leaving them out in the cold now somebody feels like a fool somebody was hoping that you were going to play into these games with them chase after them and somebody's stuck because it backfired in their face somebody realizes that you're not investing into this you're not playing into these games like they wanted you to Talking about these tests that you keep going through. Things that were meant to keep you stuck never kept you stuck. Sometimes you were slowed down a little bit, but there was more like growing that you needed to do. Seeing the bigger picture of something. So some of these tests move fast for you. Some of them move slower. And it's all for your benefit here. But you keep passing everything, whether it's fast or slow. You keep passing it. Tell me more. Five of Pentacles. This is you leaving old mindsets out in the cold. People. This is like people that left you behind was like a test to see you know your worth, your value, and you passed. Now you're leaving things out in the cold and you're leveling up. You're showing up for yourself. You're taking risks for yourself. And somebody doesn't like this new version of you. You've shifted your perspective on everything here. You got somebody here that's like, there's another test that I'm getting that keeps trying to come back around. Somebody that left you out in the cold, that tried to keep you stuck, is wanting to make a move towards you to get you to look at them differently. But this is a part of a test that you're meant to go through. Make sure you're passing this. Somebody wants to get you to invest in something here. You're not investing in things that you once did, and this is making you pass, level up. And you're standing in your independence. You're being called to still do this. There's something about you standing up for yourself, standing up for like how you want your life to be. You're not letting anybody take anything from you anymore. This is making you level up. Nines, you could be seeing nines. Nines are about um, a completion coming to an end. When you see nines and you're closing out a cycle, that is telling you that you it's closing up and you're right where you need to be. Trust that. You are learning to pour into yourself. Trust yourself. That is making you pass. And because you're passing these tests, you got some beautiful things headed your way. But it doesn't mean that another test is not coming because I keep getting somebody's trying to resurface here. So make sure you're passing that. Talk about this money in, money out. So this is like family here that's been like paying money out to stop you. And there's definitely family members that paid to get an investigation on you as well. Ooh, there's a lot of like blackmailing and emotional manipulation here with this with this bloodline of yours. Some of you like an ex or like a, a a love connection could have been involved with your family as well. Tell me more. Eight of Swords. Somebody's very much worried that the money that they've been paying out 
It's like they're losing money and then somebody's worried about not getting a payment because you're still here. They couldn't stop you. Yeah, somebody paid to, to end you. Paid death spells to attack you. Whew, somebody did not want you here. Somebody's money is going downhill. Somebody invested a lot of money to take you out. Somebody did not want you to stand in this independent energy for yourself. Somebody is very selfish and greedy trying to pay out on your head. I'm telling you, there was some a lot of money paid out to multiple practitioners I even heard. To send death spells your way, chaos magic your way, beauty spells, weight spells, whatever spell that they could think to cast your way is what these people have been doing to you. And what goes around comes back around. There is something here that's being ruled in your favor here. Some of you guys got a court case that is going in your favor. And this is why somebody tried to stop you all together here. But what goes around has to come back around in this situation. Tell me about this target on your back. You can, whatever it was, you get to move away from it. Whatever tried to target you, it couldn't take you out. You're about to look, you're about to be sitting pretty here. So it's like the money that was used on your head, you're about to be receiving these blessings times 10 for this. Whatever contract that somebody signed up with to take you out, all they're, they're removing away from it. It can't work against you. Somebody is very much aware that what they tried to do is coming out here. They can feel it coming because it is. I'm telling you, somebody tried to target you and conjure up a lot of dark stuff to attack you. But justice is being served here. These people didn't get away with this. These people are in a very delusion mindset. Somebody wanted you disconnected from your own reality. They wanted you to feel like you had a false sense of reality here. This is another part of this, this dark witchcraft that they conjured up against you. But it was held back. Nothing that tried to come towards you prospered. No attacks. They formed, but they never prospered. Could be a mother figure here that was involved with this. And you're attracting everything towards you that's rightfully yours still. You evolved and you grew no matter what these people tried to do to target you, to take you out. You can't be stopped. I've got fire, fire, air, Capricorn, earth, earth, Aries, Pisces, water, air, air, and earth here. My only two major cons out is the fool and the devil. So this is all about looking at everything, and the hangman, sorry. Everything, looking at everything differently. And then sh taking new risks for yourself, moving out of your comfort zones, seeing the bigger picture about everything. This is what's happening, making you level up more. Sagittarius. Somebody wanted you to be clinging to the past, holding on to pain from your past to achieve something here, and it's not. You've been getting rid of the old, cutting away things. Getting away from just old, stagnant energy of past connections that you've dealt with here. This is what you've been doing. Somebody, man, somebody thought that something was like not the right time to do something, but it never was going to be the right time. These are how thick-skulled these people's mindset are. They don't like to feel defeated, but they're defeated here. They can't stop you. There's some karmic ties here that's in your bloodline here that you're here to like, you're, you're here to get them their karma because it's been a long time coming with these people. You've dealt with a lot of nasty karmic energies that have tried to take you out here. There's some kind of differences that somebody was like trying to like use against somebody here. You may have felt like your love life has been cursed. You had to learn not to be desperate to look for love and you had to learn to give love back to yourself. And by doing this, you will attract love towards you if this is what you want for yourself. Tell me more. And this is what else you're... A lot of you guys are just attracting this, this abundance. Unexpected windfalls of cash making its way towards you. We know our worth. We know our value. So we're going to attract that towards us. Tell me more. If somebody wanted you stuck and stagnant. And you're not. They're now stuck and stagnant though. Somebody looks at you as a perfect match here. There's about to be a quick connection that's headed your way. But make sure you're, you're make sure it's for you. Somebody's mad as hell that you're still getting everything that's rightfully yours. They can't stop something. Somebody wanted you operating in low-frequency emotions because this is what they do. They're pissed off that you're still making it. You're thriving, actually. 
So we're going to get rid of any of these low vibing emotions. That's what stops us from manifesting. These people involved, they'll never be able to manifest because these emotions are attached to them. And you've got a divine hand over your life. Attracting everything that's rightfully yours, your soul tribe. Everything that you, the energy that you're in now is very magnetizing. You're, it's everything that you want is like attracted to you right now. Somebody was like trying to seduce you. Somebody could still be trying to come back with an apology, trying to seduce you. Somebody was trying to like seduce you by getting you to chase after them in the past too. And that didn't work. It blew up in their face. Somebody is now at a standstill because you're not indecisive here. You're moving forward. As somebody wanted to, to make you look like something that you're not. High maintenance, high standards, never satisfied. Whoever said this about you, is that's who they are. And all the drama that's breaking out. All this drama that they wanted for you is now going to them. And all these influences. People listening to people all talking and running their mouth. Gossiping chicken heads. Tried to come for you. And they still didn't take you out. This is what you... So while people were running their mouth, talking about you, clearly pitiful and pathetic with their own lives that's why they do what they do this is what you were doing you were manifesting you were activating your power and because you stay focused on you everything is flowing towards you easily now faster now and you've been embracing your spiritual awakenings breaking free blooming learning to connect with your higher self this is what you've been doing and you had some game players that wanted to approach you but you didn't feed into it like they wanted you to you're being admired for what you do Somebody wanted you to feel like they were out of your league or somebody may have thought you were out of their league, but somebody was trying to play mind games with you to try to procrastinate you, slow you down, make you doubt your worth. But you rose to the challenge and you broke out of it. You did not conform. You don't sit there and do what people think you should do. You do what's right for you and this has empowered you. Sagittarius. Yeah, somebody wanted to make you look like a stalker, a bugaboo. Chase after me, and I want you to look a certain way. But this never happened because you didn't fall into their games like they wanted you to. Somebody's got some kind of, like, not-so-good health news, whether it's STDs, mental health issues, like, other sicknesses. This is what somebody's dealing with for wishing this on you and sending things your way. Somebody's getting, like... Some news because of the death spells that they conjured up. Somebody's getting some bad news about something that is going to take their life. This isn't good. I'm telling you, don't fall for this fake apology because somebody was trying to get you to play into their games and it didn't work. Now we got a fake apology trying to come back around. No, thank you. Tell me more. Somebody wanted to say that you were on drugs. Somebody could have tried to plant drugs on you. Somebody could have tried to poison you, put something in your drink. That didn't work either. Whoever said you were on drugs, literally, this person is on drugs. That was a projection of themselves. They're on things. These are some insecure, broken little babies that tried to come for you. And they wanted to project their own insecurities on you and make you feel this way. You are not insecure. And if you were at one time, you have healed this. This isn't who you are anymore. Somebody needs anger management. Somebody wanted to make it look like you needed anger management, that you need help. Whoever wanted to like get you to, to fit this frame, fit in this box, this is what someone else is getting now. They're being exposed. They're a hothead. They need anger management. This person's envious. Everybody involved with this plan is envious against you. Oh, well. There it is again, an investigation going on. I'm telling you, there's an investigator seeing the bigger picture about everything. Investigation that was brought to you only made something right for you in the end somebody got played everybody's playing each other when it comes to the situation you've had people try to come for you that didn't even hate anything about you this just shows you what kind of person these people are they they for they fold under peer pressure they don't know how to stand on their own they have to follow the crowds because i look cooler that way i want to be accepted so i'm going to take you out but i don't hate anything about you though these people need help Somebody knows that something's cautious. Protect yourself sexually because somebody has, has some kind of plan with you sexually. They've already had some kind of plan with you sexually. It didn't work. Doesn't mean that somebody still isn't trying to come towards you, whether it's past or new energies here. Protect yourself. 
People thought they were going to gossip and sit back and watch the show. Now they're about to be exposed. Somebody wanted you to get caught up. Somebody else is getting caught up now. And their, ooh, about cussed. And their stuff's about to explode now. You see how that works? It went from you being on the hot seat to them getting caught up to them about to be exploding now. I'm telling you, these people, <laughs> they're in for it. Sagittarius. Yep, the end. Something's the end. Somebody was trying to come towards you with this facade here. There's like a bad boy energy that was trying to come towards you. And some of you guys got this bad boy energy from your past trying to come back around. Somebody's frustrated because you see everything for what it is. They can't get around you. They can't counteract you. You see everything. And you're taking off. Somebody thought that you was dumb and naive. You didn't know what they were doing, but oh, do you know? A lot of you guys just play dumb to, to make people think that they've got one over on you to achieve what they need to do against you, and then you get to level up, and they get to deal with their karma here. You're... You know how to play people. I'm telling you, you got an investigator deeply thinking about something here. Deeply thinking. You've lifted a curse off of your bloodline here. And your own bloodline, for some of you, tried to stop you. You can't be stopped. You've tapped into some higher power here for yourself. And this was never meant to happen. But this is what you're still doing, achieving. That's why you've been knocked around by so much adversity because of the power that you have. Somebody's been trying to hold, like manipulate the strings and try to hold some kind of control and power over you. Somebody's exhausted now. There's a man exhausted. You're doing things differently now, healthier. Coping mechanisms, behavior patterns, thought processes, all different for you. If you suffer from addictions, whatever that may be, all different for you. There's a man here with some kind of power and authority here that's been like, pay, he, this man either paid something over your head or this is like the investigator that was paid something. But there was definitely a man that paid to, to get you investigated. And you are moving forward. You get to level up. There's something about your, your um, content that is airing out the truth. Somebody wanted you to be labeled as this a sex worker. Okay, thank, I should have said that. Somebody here was like, pay, like buy, wanted to buy you. Throw you in sex trafficking because somebody wanted to frame you as a sex worker. This isn't who you are. So somebody thought they were going to get their hands on you while you leveled up through this. Content creators. Like, again, there's something here about you exposing the truth. Other content creators could have even tried to come for you because somebody wanted you framed as this. This isn't who you are. Somebody's scared because they're very much aware that what they tried to do didn't work. They wanted you labeled as a lady of the night. In these streets, opens legs for anything, gets paid for it. Somebody was going to try to send like what seemed to be a high value man towards you, but this is somebody that was had some kind of plan to take you out. Golly, there's some kind of competitive siblings here. Some of you guys are actually bringing a union towards you that's meant to be yours. So your actual person is becoming the best version of themselves to come into union with you. Don't wonder the outcome, just simply be. And there are so much competitive energies, even with siblings surrounding this situation. It could be on your end, the masculine's end. I've got some snakes here slithering around and you're very much aware of these snakes and they're panicking they didn't think that you would see the snake energy for what it is this investigator is seeing the snakes for who they are Sagittarius you had somebody here that thought you was going to be lonely and you're not you actually stepped in your power the price of priorities I'm telling you there's been a lot of payouts over your head here Money is more important than a life, apparently, here, with, when it comes to these types of individuals involved here. Tell me more. There's a big fallout. People are having fallouts. And you have people from your past thinking that you, by you having a fallout with them, that that would have make, made you, like, break down. But it didn't happen that way. Now you got people wanting to call you the ice queen because you're enforcing boundaries. And boy, did you have some energies here that wanted you to be looked at as just a heartless person that doesn't care about anybody but themselves. And you use people and you abuse people and you neglect people, but this isn't who you are. The actual people that said this about you, that's who they are. There's some information getting ready to head your way. Some of you guys could be getting a, a phone call from this investigator here. 
But you're about to get some information and somebody's nervous. The dark night of the soul is very significant here for you. This is what's paved the path for you. Somebody's masculine is going through this dark night of the soul to, to come into union with you. Rebirth. And then there's another, there's another person trying to come back that made it seem like they've been through a rebirth and they want a second chance. Make sure you're saying something for what it is. Something's not for you with past energy. Somebody's trying to avoid what they've done here. Because somebody wants to pull on your empathy. Someone wants to say that you're too sensitive. It, I didn't mean it like that. You took it too hard. It was just a joke. But oh, did they know what they were doing here. Don't let anybody gaslight you and manipulate you. Because that's what somebody wants to do. This is who somebody that wants to come back for you. Labels are so overrated. So we're not going to let this type of person back in. Somebody didn't regret. Because they know what's coming for them. And there is a significant connection that you're meant to have with somebody here. Somebody wants to come towards you in a friendly manner here, but you're just not falling for any type of friendly face here. Like you see through the deception and that's good. That's making you level up. This is what you've been doing, working on your magic, mastering yourself, mastering your craft. Pay attention to your dreams. If people are showing up in your dreams, past people or even a new face and something is like warning you in your message, pay attention to that. You are showing up in somebody's dream here. Somebody's feelings got hurt by something that you said. Or somebody could have said that you said something about them that was a lie and somebody's feelings got hurt and they seek to destroy you because of that. Somebody just doesn't want to change their ways. There's problems that someone just doesn't want to address, but somebody's going to have to be held accountable for what they've done here. Sagittarius, tell me what these people are doing. Watching you under surveillance. Keeping a very close eye on you, watching in your house, watching you when you're traveling, shopping. Like, there's been a watchful eye on you. Tell me more. I'm telling you, you've been in the, under investigation as well. You're supposed to be missing by now. Somebody was planning on taking you, getting you off the scene. That didn't work. If somebody had an accomplice here to try to achieve something. That didn't work. Your own family was trying to get you taken away, getting you kidnapped here. Tell me more. Somebody's trapped. Somebody wanted you trapped. Now they're trapped. Somebody was trying to bring an affair for you. They wanted to bring an affair and get you to fall for some kind of love tactic. Somebody's person is attached to somebody else and they're trying to come towards you and love bomb you. But this is somebody that's still dealing with someone else. And somebody tried to say that you that you slept with their 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 person or like you sleep with married people and you get some kind of pleasure. Like somebody tried to label you as a prostitute. Somebody was trying to do something on the inside here. And it, it, it's being exposed. There's a justice system here being investigated. A justice system was used to investigate you even. And this is all coming out. Somebody wanted you to be like tossed away like a piece of trash because that's what somebody said. Somebody like, there's even like police officers involved here. They wanted you to be looked at like a prostitute. That's why you got kidnapped because of your lifestyle. But this isn't who you are. Somebody's dealing with some natural disasters in their on their property, their house, their cars. There's some weird things happening to people right now. People's lives are falling apart. I'm telling you, somebody wanted you to off yourself get kidnapped. None of these plans worked. Some of you guys are already labeled as gone. There's like a death certificate with your name on it. This is why somebody worked so hard to take you out. You were hidden in plain sight until you weren't hidden. Somebody's trying to keep something hidden, but it can't be hidden. Somebody's trying to run away now, and they can't. Somebody was like, man, somebody has some really sick and twisted fetishes with you. What is that? Somebody had some plans with you, and it has to do with your throat, like choking you, unaliving you on camera. Man. And somebody and somebody may have wanted you to, like, hang yourself. That didn't work either. Somebody was trying to travel towards you. You're still alive. Something is getting ready to travel towards you because you're still alive, and somebody's panicking because of this. Sagittarius, you're very powerful. Your ancestors back you up. Your ancestors are making sure that every get, everything gets shifted around for you. You've got some powerful manifestations headed your way, and you are a powerful manifester. 
Somebody thought that they were going to, like, put you on blast, have a good old time watching you, embarrassing you, shaming you. None of these plans worked. Somebody else is about to get put on blast now. Somebody's on the path to nowhere. This is what they wanted for you. You may have felt at one time in your life that you were on a path to nowhere, but this adversity was meant to happen for you so you could understand who you are and the power that you have. And now that you've went through it, your awakening and you're seeing yourself for who you are, this is all part of the plan. That's where we're going to start shifting our perspective. Somebody wanted to say that you are not who you say you are. Got some so-called churchy people here that were trying to unalive you, get you put in a sex trafficking ring, so make that make sense. You are exactly who you say you are. And somebody's threatened by that. They didn't want you to be looked at. They wanted you to look at, be looked at as you're false. And you're not false at all. You're exploring new paths for yourself. All part of the plan. Somebody wanted to push you backwards. Now they're falling backwards. People that you least expected that were betraying you are the ones that were betraying you. I'm telling you, somebody has some kind of plan with your throat here. You're breaking tradition. And oh, your own family wanted to stop you because of that. And drama is now breaking out for everybody involved with this situation. What they wanted for you is happening to these people now. Sagittarius. Somebody was hoping you was going to entertain some kind of love affair to make something look, to make you look like something. But this plan didn't work. Somebody's trying to come back around here, like, that was giving you silent treatment here. Don't fall for this. I'm telling you, somebody was trying to plant some kind of evidence to make you look a certain way. And it had to do with you, like, entertaining a love affair. And you continued staying to yourself. Healing, growing, working on your goals. This is what you've been doing. And you had somebody like fishing through your comments and investigators been looking through your comments. You've had other people trying to like say things in your comments to, to make something look a certain way. That didn't work. Somebody works at Children's Services here. Somebody could have made some like false reports about you through Children's Services because somebody works for Children's Services. Your own kids could have been involved with this. Got some stalker on you. Somebody's obsessively watching your every move here. Somebody's upset that you're not upset. Somebody got some information about a reading or somebody's upset because the witchcraft that they tried to conjure your way isn't working. Somebody else is in their feelings now. What they tried to attack you with is now attacking these people. Got a happiness hater here that doesn't want to see you happy. Got some bullies here been trying to bully you, trying to threaten you, trying to cast paranoia. Don't listen to these fat heads. You guys are pathetic. You're all pathetic. May all the bullies be broken down. Because they're already broken anyways. They're haters. They hate themselves. That's why they do what they do. And they all creep in to see if what they did worked. Ain't none of these tactics work against you. This is what you're lining up with your destiny, your, your inheritance, your birthright. And somebody was trying to do obsession spells, love spells, come to me spells. That ain't working. And somebody was trying to do these spells on you. And then they were going to run from you again. To make you look like a stalker. A weird, obsessed clingy stalker and they were going to make you feel rejected and they were going to try to force something on you now they want to try to get back in no thank you no thank you Sagittarius somebody doesn't want you to have a certain commitment here that's meant for you so they've been trying to mess this up for you and somebody's trying to get you to commit to them don't do that this is somebody that was trying to play games with you Somebody only wants to cause you pain. Somebody's trying to get you to connect with them, but they they want to like they want to like use their pain. It's like they want to like it's like they're going to get you to side with them by bringing up something some kind of pain that was is within them. But this person's not making any changes though. They're only going to say this to try to get you to connect with them again. This person could already be connected to somebody else. I keep getting that. Tell me more. Oh, there it is. Your twin flame. Somebody's trying to get you to entertain this connection again. Some of you guys are lining up with your twin flame. Some of you, your twin flame is what did this to you. You'll know who, what story fits for you. Ooh, somebody's twin flame has had some kind of hand in the, the hexing and the witchcraft here. Somebody's twin flame is cursed now. 
Everybody involved is cursed for trying to send this your way. Somebody wants to try to come back and act like they ain't had a part in this, but they have. Somebody's trying to get you to bond with them, only to try to pull you in this trickery. Somebody's clinging to an ideal of something here, but this is like what you're focused on. You're growing, evolving. You found yourself more because you stayed focused on yourself and somebody wanted you to feel rejected and you're not. This is what you're going towards, your endless possibilities. This is what's happening for you. You know your value, you know your worth. You're so at peace. Don't let anybody come in here and confuse you because that's what they want to do. And everybody is very much aware that this time is running out and it's going in your favor. So they're trying to, to like bring this person from your path. It could be somebody's twin flame here trying to come back around. So make sure you're seeing something for what it is here. Everybody's panicking. They're very much aware that you're still here and you're still alive here. So, all right, beautiful Sagittarius. I wish you guys this message. I hope that it helped and resonated. If it did not, please check back with me on Sunday. We'll do it all over again. Appreciate you so much. Light and love TC Sunday.